am I to be posting vlogs? Like, what? I thought I was going to be a fashion designer because I watched That's So Raven doing the actual choreography from the show. I was like, yep, this is what I want to do. Come to Bournemouth to look at all the Christmas trees. There's a pink one there, very on brand for me. Literally every time I do a vlog, someone's always like, who are you talking to? And I always get too embarrassed to be like, no, for real, I'm just vlogging because it is like a bit embarrassing. That is so cool, look at that. There's pods up there. I always love looking at the Christmas lights, like the idea of these pods. Like you can go have a meal, and drink in a nice little pod. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, the pier's literally covered in Christmas trees. What? It's so weird being by the ocean with a bunch of Christmas trees. Like, I can literally hear the sea going, Psh, I'm having a Moana Christmas. The venue is so cute. There's a little Santa in the corner. There's this really nice cafe in Christchurch and they do loads of milkshakes in the summer, like Kinder Bueno, Nutella, etc. But in the winter, they turn all of them into hot chocolates. And last year, had the cherry chocolate orange. Hot chocolate is so, so good. And the ducking stall in Christchurch is so good. Highly recommend if you come down to Dorset. I have always wanted to do Vlogmas, but every time I film vlogs, and I do film vlogs sometimes, I never post them because I always get major imposter syndrome being like, who the fuck am I to be posting vlogs? Like, what? I was like, do you know what? I have so much footage on my camera roll and it might be boring as fuck, but I'm like, do you know what? I filmed it, I might as well put it up. And I do go through phases where I'm like, yes, YouTube, YouTube. And then I'm like, no, I can't. I literally, who am I? But I'm like, do you know what? If it's something you want to do, you've just got to put yourself out there. Bite the bullet and be like, do you know what? It's gonna be shit at first. It's gonna be rubbish and no one's gonna watch it at first. But if you enjoy it, then what's the point of being scared about what other people think? Hey vlog, I'm back again with the big coat and the big scarf. It is very cold. It's the 11th of December and I'm just on a mental health walk. I realise like some days I literally don't go outside and on those days I always feel really tired and lethargic. It's not raining today, might as well go on a walk. So I've had quite a good week. I started a digital marketing internship last week. It's a three month, I'm working for free, but it's three months, like 10 hours maximum a week and I'm doing it because I really want to build up my digital marketing portfolio because I need to get coin in if I'm going to spend my time next year pursuing acting and music. I want to be able to have money coming in because because of my um, FND I have, if you don't know, I've got an FND which is a functional neurological disorder, something like that. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and I have NEADS, which is non-epileptic seizures. And I also have epilepsy, so that's epileptic seizures. And I've spent most of this year just having seizures. So it's not been like the best year. Through that, I've like realized that I can't be like working in a coffee shop because what if I have a seizure? So I'm kind of rethinking, rejigging what I can and can't do moving forwards. And so I'm trying to do digital marketing so I can work from home. Or I was thinking about being a virtual assistant. So I think I would do virtual assistant and digital marketing. So that's like blog posts, SEO, whatever else is included in digital marketing. Still learning the ropes, which is why I've taken on this internship. The company that I'm with, they're based in New York. And if you know me, I love New York so much. I would love to go on a business trip to New York, but alas, I am working remotely. But I do want to go back to New York. Like I went to New York in 2018 for a college trip. So I did performing arts at college and we went to New York. I had a New York fling 
and we went to see the Book of Mormon on Broadway and that was literally so good. It's not my personal favorite musical, but it was really cool to see an actual Broadway show. Like they give you the playbills and you go in, like it's free. Like on the West End, if you want a program, it's like seven pounds most of the time. They're a little bit expensive. Anyway, we also did the Book of Mormon workshop. So they had two actors that were in the show do like a dance class and maybe a singing workshop. It was a few years ago. But it was really, really, it was a really good experience. And it really, that moment solidified. Oh my gosh, it's so slippy. <laughs> Wait, look at this. I'm literally trying not to fall on my ass. Anyway, so that moment when we were working with the Broadway actors and like doing the actual choreography from the show, I was like, yep, this is what I want to do. Musical theatre through and through. I did not. That rhyme, come on, let my mom around up. So that is the moment that really stood out to me. That was like, okay, I want to do musicals because prior to that, okay, I saw High School Musical. <laughs> I'm really exposing myself right now. Oh my gosh. So I watched High School Musical and I was like, what, six? And I was like, oh my God, mom, I want to be Gabriella. And she was like, that's an actress. That's Vanessa Hudgens, love. Like she's not actually Gabriella. I was like, oh my gosh. So what, she's just pretending to be? Yeah. And they go and do other projects and she pretends to be other people. My mind was, when I tell you my mind was blown, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be Gabriella from High School Musical. That is, that's me. That is where I was like, okay, maybe I want to be an actor. But I was told like, oh, it's so hard to be an actor. I mean, it is. You might want to think about a more reasonable, better career path so off i went looking for a better career path thought i was gonna be i thought i was gonna be a fashion designer because i watched that so raven and i was like yep i can do that and then i realized how much i didn't really care about all aspects of fashion it wasn't my actual passion i didn't have a passion for fashion so when i was 16 i circled back to it and i was like listen parents i think i want to do musical theater and they were like all right put me in the local theater school and that was really good i realized i can't dance because i'd never danced in my life and doing all this like west end broadway choreography had me absolutely shooketh wasn't the one i always got put in the back and i would be like step clicking that's how much i couldn't dance and i couldn't dance so much that my dance teachers would literally be like oh helena you tried you gave it your best shot, babes, because it's not that my technique was bad. My technique didn't exist. Uh, like dance technique for the people that don't know about dance technique. So it's like when you dance, you have to have a certain way of dancing that's correct. So my dance technique was poor because I never danced before. So I didn't even know how to do it. So I was kind of thinking maybe this isn't for me. But then I went to New York when I was 18 and I was like, yeah, that's it. And I have a whole other story about how I thought I was going to become a playwright. But for now, I'm going to shut my face, literally like, Helena, shut the fuck up, no one cares. But that's how I wanted to get into musical theatre. And now I have an agent, I'm going to auditions. That's a whole other ballpark, like... They don't prepare you for that. That is a lot of fun. And that is what I'm up to at the minute. It's auditioning and she wants to be an artist, Ooh, a music artist. Cause I just, singing is for me. Like the way, like when I sing, it's such a cathartic emotional release. I feel it in my soul. And that's how you know. That's how you know that you found your passion when you do it. If you've seen the Disney movie, Soul, like when time stops and you're in this other dimension because you're literally so obsessed with what you're doing that like nothing else matters in that moment and that is how i feel when i sing so that's how i know that musical theater and singing is just my entire life like even if you don't get paid to do it and you still really really want to do it that's a sign that's your passion ah oh, we've done a whole walk doing that rant oh my gosh are you seeing this this whole lake is frozen over. It's not a river, it's actually a field. Are you seeing this? It is all frozen. 
and I'd go closer, but I'm not trying to dirty my new balances. I felt super fancy when I went to go get these new balances because I saw them on Pinterest and I was like, I need them. I really do. So I went into the store and I pulled up the exact like shoe that I wanted. The exact, what's the word? The model? Mm. I don't know the exact type of shoe and I was like do you have this and they did have it they were like what size and I literally felt super fancy because I used to go all over London to like different like fancy stores like Louboutin, Fendi stuff like that and like bring in exactly what they wanted be like do you have this then they go see if they had it and that was like a whole other ball game London is no joke and also high fashion is also no joke anyway that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying now. I'm trying. All right. Bye.